Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about a uh, latest change in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central 2022 release with one. So when after Microsoft upgraded to our Business Central tenant to the version 20, which is for the 2022 release with one, then you will find you are not able to put in any letters for the phone number on the contact card anymore. So if you have a legacy system, or if you are uh, doing a data migration from the previous system to Business Central, but on the phone number you are having the letters in the phone number, then you will get an issue. For example, I want to enter a phone number um, like this, and then usually for most of company, for the contact, you will have extension. So previously you may put an EXT there and dot, and then put an extension there. But now you can see it does not accept it anymore, okay? I only have an environment which has the Business Central uh, version 19.4. So what I'm going to do, if you take a look here, but you can see what's the difference, right? If on this version, if I go to the contact card, and then if I just uh, put in a phone number, or just put the same phone number here, then you could see it can accept this without any issue. The same for the version 19.5, but because I don't have that version on hand, I cannot show you. But the thing is like Microsoft made this change. What if you have, you're using a, a, later, a previous version of NAV and you want to upgrade to Business Central version 20, you may have this, you may have problem because this. For example, I want to import the vendor a table through configuration package and then uh, when I look at the legacy data from my old system then I could see uh, it all have this format right there's an extension showing up and then if I use a configuration package to import this it will error out because that validation let's just come back and import that configuration package so we have all the fields included in this table and we are validating all the field and if this is the case, and then when we import this data, and after the import, you will see uh, it will error out because we have the, when you apply the data, they will error out because they have, we have the validation for the phone number. So if you take a look at this arrow, then click on show arrow, then you will see it tells you the phone number must not contain letters, right? So that's a problem. So how if you do want to import that and the data, because right now, because I have that arrow, if I go to my, because previously I have those vendors there and exported them, you will see the vendors there. But if this is a new vendor, then you will see your vendor, card, your vendor list only have the number. Everything else is blank out. So you didn't really get the data imported just because of this phone number. So what we can do just to get rid of this arrow to import a phone number, you can go to number of fields to validate and then you can you can just uh, search for that phone number and you, you remove the validation. So this will only fix your problem temporarily if later, if there is something else related to this, the, to the phone number. So once we do this, refresh, import this data again. We want to get those phone numbers populated here. Then let's apply the data. Okay, so now there's no arrows. Then uh, if you go back to your vendor list, then you can see the phone number got populated with this extension. If you try to add it to this to something else, then it will still error out. It just allow you to import the data originally without error out because we removed the validation for that field. But it can just uh, help you to get rid of that error if you are migrating the data from legacy, legacy system. For, for the phone number, you have some letters there. And, but it will also cause some other errors. And uh, for example, in our, this latest change, I don't know why Microsoft does not declare it in any, in, in their incoming features tell the users about this change. You just do it without even any notice. So it's causing issues to the end users, right? So uh, for example, if, if you are having uh, the, some extensions installed like uh, CSM, so if you are using CSM and then the channel sales manager 
This is an extension on the App Source which integrate your e-commerce platform with Business Central. So it could be Amazon, could be Shopify, Magento, BigCommerce, WooCommerce. And uh, you know, for some of the e-commerce platforms, then uh, ask the uh, shopper who placed the order on their site to put in the phone number. If they put in a phone number which has a letter as an extension to show, show as an extension to indicate extension like EXT or X there, then you will have problem when you create a channel, when you create a sales orders from the CSM orders. And so what you can do in that case, you have to figure out a workaround in your extension. So in the CSM, in the channel sales manager scenario, then you have to make sure when you, uh, when you, when you create a customer for the setup, then you have to select, instead of select auto create, you have to select sales channel. And then you have to put a customer template there. So what, so these two options, let's just put a customer template there, but these two options, you will select sales channel and you will turn off auto create a contact or turn, turn this off. So what this does is like, it's going to use the customer template uh, when it creates a sales order from the CSM orders, then it will use this customer template as the customer, as a generic customer. And then it just uh, put the shopper's um, phone number and uh, the shipping information onto the sales header. And it will not create an individual customer or, or contacts in Business Central. So this is just a workaround for you to avoid the issue caused by this phone number update. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. I hope to see you guys again next time. Thank you for watching this Archer Point video. Stay in the know with the latest on Microsoft Dynamics by subscribing to our channel. You can also learn more from our blog at archerpoint.com or email info at archerpoint.com to contact us. See you in the next video.